Hello and welcome to this video with me, Coach Reese. How are you all doing? Hope you're doing really well. So in today's video, we're going to talk about defending principles. As always, I will leave timestamps and chapters below. So let's get started. So when we're thinking about principles, whether that be attacking principles or defending principles, we're thinking about the fundamentals that underpin everything to do with, in this case, defending. With defending principles, we can almost split them into three areas. We have deny, delay, dictate and deflect. We have press, cover, balance. And we have compactness, control and restraint. So let's take a look at each group in isolation. So the first group we'll take a look at is deny, delay, dictate and deflect. Now, some people include deflect, some people don't. I'm leaving it in here so you can see it and you can make your own decision whether or not you want to include it. So the first one is deny. So with deny, we can deny space. We can deny passing options, can I shooting opportunities. Anything that you think that we can deny when out of possession will fall or be built from this principle. So with delay, we're trying to slow down the opposition's attack and we might slow down the opposition's attack so that we can get recovering players to either apply pressure to the ball or they might come behind us to provide support or they may just be rejoining the structure. So with dictate, we are trying to decide where the opposition progress. So the most common one we see is we try and send the opposition wide away from central areas because the goal's in the center. So we send them wide, the further away. Or we might also send them backwards for the same reason. They're going further away from our goal. And now deflect. So when we're thinking about deflect, we're thinking about can we deflect a player from one foot to the other? So if you've got a player who's heavily right-footed, we might try and deflect them onto their weaker foot, their left foot in this case. And that's the same the other way around. So if you've got a strong player who's strong with their left foot, we might try and deflect them onto their right. The next group is press cover and balance. Now I have covered these in a Football 101 video, so I will leave a link to that in the description as well. Press cover and balance refer to roles taken up by players when they're out of possession, when they're defending. So press, we have our player who's engaging the ball. With cover, we have our player who's providing cover to the player who's pressing. This player's there, if the pressing player is beat, the covering player can then engage the ball. And our balance player is providing protection against any runs that might happen from the opposition or being ready to become the pressing player should the play transfer. And the final group is compactness, control and restraint. So with compactness, we're thinking about the structure of the team when out of possession. So we'll be looking for short horizontal distances between players in the same unit. So for example, we would want short distances between our two centre backs and then our full backs on either side of the two. And then we'll be looking for short vertical distances between the three units. So we'd want a short distance between the defensive unit to the midfield unit and the midfield unit to the attacking unit. So when we're thinking about control, it's actually very similar to dictate. So we're trying to control where the opposition play. We can then think of control from an emotional point of view, and this is where restraint links in. So we need to remain composed, under control, so that we can make informed decisions. Because if we start breaking the structure and we start losing that compactness, we start to open up areas for the opposition to play in, which can be dangerous for us. So that's our defending principles, similar to the attacking principles. Everything you see when the team's out of possession, so their high block, mid block, deep block, how they press, their structure in the mid block, their structure in the deep block, all comes from these defending principles. 
as always if you did enjoy the video and you found it useful i do have a coffee page where you can just buy me a coffee there's a little bit of a support it's your choice i don't mind either way but thank you if you do if you did enjoy the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe i've been coach reese and i'll see you in the next one